do you overcommit like this? Well, this video is for you. You see, a lot of the time when, let's say, we're defending in the box, a lot of the casual players will panic and they'll attempt to get the ball off the attacker as quickly as possible. Yet, the same with anything, things take patience and especially defending in the bots. Sometimes you need to be patient to actually defend the attacker who's attempting to try and beat you or make you commit to a certain side. You see, one of the time the attacker will be dribbling and attempting to feint you away or he'll use a specific skill move to essentially try and beat the defender that you have control of. And what will happen is a lot of the time you will bite and you will attempt to get the ball off the attacker leaving a big gap in behind and easy for your opponent to exploit you. However, if you actually look at how pro players defend in certain situations like this, they will stay very calm and a lot of the time they'll actually stand relatively still and won't move at all. What this does is it prevents them from over committing to a certain side, leaving gaps for your opponent to exploit and it allows them to then read where the opponent will go once he decides to turn a certain way or hit a skill move. You'll see me do this in the E-League. I'll be sitting very tight in my space, in my hole, and I'll be keeping my defensive line in a structure and not taking my defender out of his position. Almost through, and that is very cool under pressure from Aussie FIFA HD. I use right stick switching to switch between the defenders as the opponent plays the ball around to his attackers, and then eventually he will get impatient and will attempt to feint me to a certain side or hit a steel move, but I'll be ready to pounce on that bad touch and on that dribble because I've stuck to my position and I've essentially not touched the left stick. And that's the secret, not touching the left stick. When you don't touch the left stick, what happens is you're able to sit in that hole and you're able to wait for the right time to make the tackle once the opportunity presents itself. Hold R2 and L2, don't touch the left stick, or if you're gonna to touch it, be very minute and essentially sit in the hole and wait for the right time to make the tackle. I'll sing at the end of it. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm coaching 101, patreon.com. Many testimonials proving and showing that I've taken people from the low divisions to the high divisions. It can be done. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm out, sign off, au revoir, adios, salam, ciao. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplements, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code AussieFIFA at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys, so thank you.